the mission of Hampton Sydney College is to form good men and good citizens. We've been doing it for a while, obviously. We've written it differently over the years in our publications, though. In the 70s, we were quoting Reinhold Niebuhr on the futility of proclaiming lofty ideals without demonstrating how they affect the ordinary problems of individual men. Today, we speak a little more plainly. Nevertheless, it shows that for decades, centuries even, Hampton Sydney has always had a focus on the development of the whole man. I like to think that we make men better versions of themselves. What's up guys? Welcome to episode six of On This Hill. This is a weekly admissions vlog where I talk to you about what's going on on campus. Uh, this week was a busy week. There was one event that struck my eye this week though, and that was uh, a ceremony that we had for one of our juniors, Garrett Ramsey. Garrett is in our Army ROTC program. He's very involved on campus. And so I sat down with him and asked him a couple questions. Uh, so I'm here with Garrett Ramsey, who is a current junior at Hampton Sydney. Um, again, in, in all this talk about good men and good citizens and what we do to build the character of young men, uh, I wanted to sit down with Garrett since this week he had a ceremony, um, which was, do you want to explain? Yeah, so uh, basically I contracted with ROTC um, in December and I had my public ceremony for the Oath of Enlistment. Uh, in front of Memorial Gates, so awesome. it was a big step for me going towards uh, becoming an Army officer. So. Yeah, so can you tell me, why did you come to Hampton Sydney, Garrett? Uh, so I started off at a small private school, uh, yeah. the, the graduating class was 24 people, so I mean, okay. uh, I, I thought looking at colleges I wanted to try something bigger because I, I just, I don't know, I felt like the private school thing was working for me, but I, I just wanted to try something different. Yeah. And I uh, started looking at schools, and then I started getting letters from Hampton Sydney, in which I'd, I'd been visiting Hampton Sydney since I was young, like watching football games and all, right. and like had never seriously considered it. Okay. Um, and then like I never really appreciated the campus until I came back to visit my sophomore year of high school. And when I came back, like I, I fell in love. Like it was. It was a real moment for me when I was looking at college campuses and I got to come to Hampton, Sydney, and it just felt like home. Nice. So, so stepping foot on campus. Really yeah, helped. stepping foot on campus. Uh, Seal that though, deal. Yeah, even though I had done it uh, several times like when I was younger, um, it just helped me out when I got here yeah. and was looking for a college, but looking for a home for the next four years. Yeah. So. Um, we Again, we talk a lot about good men and good citizens. Why do you think Hampton Sydney does that? How do we do that? How do we form good men? You obviously are part of our Army ROTC yeah. program. Um, you've been involved with our Wilson Center, I know. Um, other leadership activities on campus. What is it about this place that, that does that? Uh, I think it's the relationships. Okay. Um, like not only between students, but uh, the students and faculty, the students and the staff. Um, the relationship that professors have that they will meet you at any time right. um, and are willing to talk to you about your future, about what's going on in your life right now. Um, and even like uh, with you guys in the admissions office, like we feel free to come here and talk anytime, especially the tour guides. Like, so For I better think, or for worse. Yeah, right? <laughs> and so uh, I think it's between the relationships and uh, just the resources that we have on campus. Um, it really, I don't want to say forces because forces is a strong word, but like it influences the guys to be to grow while they're here and yeah. I think that that's the main part of how we're able to form good men and good citizens awesome last thing do you uh, do you have any words of wisdom or what would you say to a, a prospective student uh, maybe who's watching this right now who's trying to decide between Hampton City and another school what would you tell them to consider in their search um, yeah I think the biggest thing about uh, about your college search is just finding your home. Um, and I think a lot of students find that Hampton Sydney is the place for them. Um, I know I did, but it's all about where you want to be your next four years. And Hampton Sydney produces an environment that is unlike anywhere else. Um, I can't stress that enough, and I wish I could put it into words, but Hampton Sydney is just a different place. Awesome. Good deal, man. Well, I appreciate you talking with me. No problem. Thanks again. Yes, sir. So that was a great conversation with Garrett. Um, it's always great speaking to our students uh, about what they're doing and what they think makes this place special. We talk about it a lot in the admissions office, but I think it, it makes the most impact when it comes from our students. Um, this was a great week. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you all next week on this hill. Take care.